Welcome everybody and thank you for being here today. I'm Stefano Corradi of Law Masters Department and uh, today we are going to talk about way system uh, in many different sectors and what our Laumas can offer you to solve your customer problems. Uh, as told you, we are going to talk about waiting system today. Uh, a simple waiting system is uh, composed by loaders and electronics. So, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, introduce you briefly uh, Laumas range of products. We have a wide range of uh, standard analog loaders that are suitable for any kind of uh, weighing system uh, for measure weight or force uh, in a, any kind of sector. Uh, our um, load cell range has uh, composed by single point load cell or, or center load cell, bending beam, sharp beam load cell, double sharp beam load cell, compression, column, tension load cell, load beams. Uh, our range starts from uh, 0.25 kilograms. Uh, capacity up to uh, 750,000 kilograms. This is for standard load cells. Uh, we can reach an IP rating up to IP69K and uh, we are able also to, um, to, to make all our uh, standard analog load cells to become digital in a digital version thanks to our uh, load cell digitizer called a uh, model called LCB that can be connected directly on the body of the load cells or also through um, the cable. In order to be able to sell all our load cells all over the world, uh, we got many certifications. We have uh, metrological approvals, of course, as OEML R60. Uh, we have uh, class starting from C2 up to C5. We got also the NTEP approvals for the US and Canadian markets, and we got the EACPAC approval for the Russian market. We have also the exclusive area approvals like EX, so ATEX approval. We have the IECEX, that is the ATEX approval known all over the world. And we have also the EACEX, that is the ATEX approval in the Russian market. We have also the capability to make a, a customized load cell depending on the um, customer needs. So in any kind of shape, uh, in, uh, we can have a load cell, customized load cell for uh, low uh, temperature, for high temperature. And of course, in order to make this wide range of load cell working in the correct way, we have a wide range of mounting kits, several uh, useful and uh, suitable for several uh, sectors. After the load cells, we have a wide range of electronics. Uh, we have uh, indicators uh, known by the W. Uh, the beginning, so the W series like our W100, W200, W desk, and so on, and uh, transmitters uh, known by the letter TL, like the TL series, so TLB, TLB4, TLM8. Our electronics can be installed in many different um, systems because they can be installed for front panel, they can be installed in the field. They can be installed in a bar, uh, Omega DIN rail. And also, uh, we start from simple transmitter, simple indicator, up to uh, many different software batching. So we can have load batching, unload batching, and we can manage three, six, 14 products, etc. Our electronics um, are um, able to communicate with uh, any kind of PLC because they, we have, uh, let's say, almost all the protocol communication available that you can find in, uh, in the market. So uh, as standard, we have the Modbus RTU on our RS485 port. Then we can add uh, any kind of this uh, 
uh, feed versus that you can see in the slide. So we can have analog output, we can have Profinet IO, Profibus DP, Ethernet IP, Ethernet TCP IP, Ethercut, and so on, so on. As for the load cells, we got many approvals also for our electronics. So we have the metrological approvals, uh, OEML R66, uh, 76, uh, R61, and R51. We have also the NTEP uh, approval uh, for the US and the Canadian market. We uh, recently got the NMI approval for the Australian and New Zealand market. And we have the EAC, PAC for the Russian market uh, as well. Um, as conformity approvals, we have the CE, of course. We have the UL for the US and Canadian market. And we have the EAC for Russian market. Uh, also for our electronics, uh, we have the exclusive area approvals. Uh, so EX, e, uh, IECX, and EAC EX. For the load cells, we can reach uh, up to zone zero or 20, while for the electronics, we can got up to uh, zone one or 21. Now, we uh, will see how to select the correct LAMOS product for each uh, system that uh, I can find in the market. So how, what, what I have to ask to myself to understand which uh, she is the correct product of LAMAS. First of all, I need to uh, understand in, in which industrial sector I'm going to work. So it could be uh, food industry, could be chemical industry, could be a cement industry, and so on. Then I have to know which is the reason of the waiting. So uh, if I have to fill a sack, if I have to weight a pallet, if I have to check uh, a batch of production and so on. I need to know also if the weighing system uh, will have to be legal for trade. So uh, if what I'm going to wait, it will be sold to a third party for the OML rules, it must be uh, legal for trade approved. Then I have to know the system capacity to uh, understand which uh, capacity of loads they have to offer. I need to know the term of the system. I need to know the resolution that uh, the customer would like to have and the resolution that we are able to give to the customer. Because as everybody knows, the customer sometimes wants the impossible, but we cannot offer the impossible. So. We have to know also the number of legs, or uh, it means how many uh, points is the, our system is uh, connected. So uh, four legs, uh, two legs, three legs, and so on. Another important thing is to, to be known is the IP rating. And also if we need specific certification, like said before, for example, NMI for the Australia or UL for the US or a Canadian market. And then also which kind of protocol, uh, communication protocols uh, our customer needs. So let's start with the first example. We'll start uh, from low capacity load cell and so of center load cell up to column and bigger load cell. Our first example is a small hopper. So the industrial sector could be, we suppose that is a chemical or plastic sector and the, the reason of the weighing is to fulfill a uh, 12 kilogram sack of PBT. It, it doesn't, it, we don't need to be legal for trade because it's just a, a filling of a sack that maybe it will be weighed again at the end before to be sold. Our system capacity is 30 kilograms. So the capacity of that hopper is 30 kilograms. The tear, so the weight of the hopper is 10 kilograms. With this kind of uh, weight, we can reach five grams resolution. The number of legs is one. As you can see, it's just connected by one load cell. The IP rating is IP65. We don't have any kind of specific certification. And the communication protocol would be Proficos DP. First of all, I would like to explain 
why we can use just one of center load cell. Of center load cell is uh, the typical load cell used on uh, plat in little platform, for example. It means any of center loaders has a data uh, called off center. Uh, that is the area uh, where the weight could be placed and we can get the correct weight. In this, uh, this example, we have the hopper that has a diameter of 300 millimeter. Our load cell has an off center of 600 per 600. So if we uh, can stay with our uh, weighting system inside of this area, we can use just one load cell and have a correct weight. So in this case, what LAMAS can offer? We can offer our off center load cell model APL 50 kilograms, because of course, with 50 kilograms, it's enough to weigh 30 kilograms of product and 10 kilograms there. The AP, uh, APL load cell has only 600 for per 600 of center. So from the middle of the, of the load cell, we have 300 per part, and we can stay inside with this hopper. Then we have two possibilities uh, with, the, with our electronics. If uh, we want to manage the batching by ourselves, by our indicator, we can use, for example, our W200S. So it means unload program um, for front panel mounting with Profibus DB communication. This uh, simple indicator can manage the, the batching. So you can make your formula, you can uh, inside the, the indicator and tell him, I want to. Uh, unload five kilograms, then you can have fast filling, slow filling, flight mode, and, and so on. Why? If we have a PLC in there, because it's a big uh, system, so uh, we don't want to manage the, the filling by our indicator, we can use our uh, TLD Profi transmitter. So I connect the APL to the transmitter installed inside our panel in an Omega Teen rail that will transmit the weight data to a PLC that will manage all the filling and all the plant. Our second example is a packing machine. Uh, we are also here in the, in the food industry. Uh, the reason of the weighing is the filling of a uh, 25 kilograms flour sack. And as you can see, in this case, it must be legal for trade because uh, we are going to sell this 25 kilogram flour set to our customer, to a third party. So uh, it must be legal for trade. The system capacity is 30 kilograms. The tear of the system is 20 kilograms. The tear here, you can see, it's the um, metallic part that uh, can keep the set. Then with this data we can have, and with this data and with the legal for trade, so with a, a OEML R60 approval, we can got 10 grams uh, resolution. The number of legs is again one. The IP rating is IP67. And we have a need of certi a specific certification. So ATX, ATX 22, because, you know, in the flower, uh, there is a possibility to explosion because of the flower. So, and the zone is the 22. And also we have the certification OEML R76NAWI. It means not automatic weighing system. Because with our electronics, we can make this packing machine, but it won't be an automatic machine. Uh, there, uh, the need always to uh, a person to be there and uh, give the, uh, the, the, the okay to the way. It cannot be make continuously sex without the confirmation of a people that is checking the way. So it means not automatic weighing system. The communication protocol is the profit IO. What LAMAS can offer? We can offer our off-center loads uh, completely stainless steel IP67 uh, model AZLI, 100 kilograms. Of course, uh, ATEX approved, so EXAZLI, connected to our uh, W-desk indicator 
So it's W dash R, it means red lead. C, it means that is a load software. And X, it means ATEX approved for zone 22 with Profit IO communication. With this indicator, you can make the formula inside the, the, the electronics for the load of, for the filling of the set. But as I said before, it's a not automatic waking instrument. So it needs always the presence of the person that give to the packing machine the okay of the weight. Here again, we still here with the off-center load cells. We have a roller conveyor, a little roller conveyor. Uh, the industrial sector is logistic. The reason of the weighing is a uh, 30 kilogram box checking. We don't have the need to be legal for trade because it's just a pack checking, a box checking. The system capacity is 100 kilograms. The tear of the weighing is 70 kilograms. And the resolution that we can get is 10 grams. Number of legs, as you can see, it's one. In this case, as the uh, roller conveyor has a plant of 600 per 600, we can again use just one of center loader. That is cheaper than use four bending being loader. The IP rating is IP65. We don't have any specific certification needed, and the protocols. Communication protocol is Ethernet uh, TCP IP. In this case, what Laumas can offer? We can offer our host center load cell PEC, uh, 150 kilograms capacity, that has the uh, correct of center to be installed in this 600 per 600 uh, roller conveyor. And then we have two electronic possibilities. If we need to see the wave, in the place, we can use our indicator model W-LDP. So it means L for LCD display, B for basic software, and P for uh, cable blends on the back with Ethernet TCP IP communication. Why? If we don't need to see the weight in the place, we can use our uh, TLB Ethernet TCP IP transmitter that can be installed inside the panel, inside a panel, exactly, uh, on a uh, Omega D rail, uh, transmitting the weight of the our load cell to a PLC or a PC, uh, anything else. Here we have a um, specific uh, system, it's a statistical checking. This follow an Italian rules um, with an act that is uh, number 690 dated in uh, 25th of October 78 and the decree or another Italian decree uh, number uh, 391. So for sure this is uh, our, an Italian rule but Maybe it could be also useful in other uh, countries. So you have to check in your countries if also this is needed. This statistical checking is used in the food, mainly in the food industry. And the reason of the waiting is to check uh, that a prepacked pasta cartons is uh, following the correct way. So it means that when you make a batch of production of, in this example, uh, pasta pack, you have to, following this rule, you have to check every X uh, pack, you have to check one pack. So at the end of the batching, you will know if the old batch is following the, the correct uh, weight or not. So you can um, say that the, the batch is okay or not okay. This is legal for trade, of course, as, as I've told you before. This is the capacity is 6 kilograms, the tear is 0 0.02 kilograms, so this is just the weight of the back of the pasta. The resolution, because of the um, um, legal for trade, is 2 grams, and the number of legs is uh, 0, because uh, you can see that it is a platform. We don't have any specific IP rating need, and the certification is the OEMLR76, not automatic weighing instrument again. 
what we can offer in this case is our uh, WTAB uh, GB, it means um, our indicator model WTAB graphic, graphic display basic software connected to our uh, I, AIN 6 kilogram platform. As you can see in this example of receipt, you will see which is the rule. So you have to wait uh, at, at the end, for example, you will see that is the 150 uh, batch uh, pack. You have to be uh, inside a specific weight uh, range. We have another uh, typical uh, application in the food industry, the multi-head packing machine. <clears throat> the reason of the weighing is to 500 gram candy pack filling. It's not legal for trade because probably the pack will be weighed at the end of the production line again. The system capacity is 2 kilograms. The tear is 2.5 kilograms, so the weight of that little hopper. And the resolution is 0 0.5 grams. Number of legs is one because, of course, it's connected just with one point. The IP rating is IP67 because of food industry, and the, we don't have certification needed. And the protocol, communication protocol is the Ethernet IP. In this case, Launos can offer our off center load cell model PRC 6 kilograms connected to our load cell digitizer model LCD Ethernet IP. This uh, load cell digitizer can be connected directly on the body of the load cell, uh, transforming it in a digital load cell. So you don't have the millivolt volt signal, but you will get immediately the, in this case, the Ethernet IP uh, signal or any kind of other communication protocol. So it's uh, uh, safer for uh, the weight transmitting data. Now we move on a bigger system application. Here we have a big hopper. Uh, the industrial sector is the cement or the aggregate sector. The reason of the weighing is the batching of the, the cements. It's not legal for trade for sure. The system capacity is 2,500 uh, 2, kilograms and the third 500 kilograms, so the weight of the hopper. With this data, the resolution that can, we can get is 200 grams. Number of legs four, because as you can see, it's we have four uh, points where the hopper is uh, fixed. IP rating is IP67. We have a specific certification needed in this case that is UL, so probably this system will be sold in the US or in Canada. And the communication protocol is the 420 milliamp. Lamos can offer four uh, Sharbin load cell model FTP 1000 kilograms uh, that are in stainless steel with four uh, TF2000. The mounting accessories is TF2000, that is a uh, uh, an anti-vibration uh, mounting accessory. Then we have two possibilities as electronics again. <laughs> we can connect the four loads up, uh, through a standard junction box to our uh, W200 box CAP indicator in an IBS box that is possible to put it in the field. And as you can see again here is W200 box C, it means load, so because we have we are weighing the empty hopper and we are loading cements. A for analog output and P for cable length. Or we have another possibility. We can connect the four load cells directly to our multi-channel transmitter model TLM8 installed inside an IBS box called CAST G8 PG9. PG9. Um, in this solution, uh, of this multi-channel transmitter, we can have some uh, uh, advantages because uh, being a multi-channel transmitter, you will have the diagnostic, the diagnostic of each load cell. So in case of uh, uh, breakage or damages of a load cell, you will see immediately which is the broken one. Uh, while with a standard junction box, you cannot do it. We have, you have to use a multimeter and check each load cell. 
Then you have the automatic equalization when you make the first uh, uh, calibration, so it's easier and uh, faster. And also you have um, the repartition of the weight in percentage for each load cell. Uh, during the first calibration, the, 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 the TLMA store this repartition, and then if in the future the structural, uh, the mechanical structure of the hopper will change because of damages, and the repartition will change, the telemate will give you an alarm. So telling you, be, be careful, something is changed. We have another type of hopper, always in the, in the cement aggregate sector, that instead of being on four foot, it's hanging in three uh, points. So here we have a system capacity of 1,500 kilograms with a tear of 500 kilograms. A resolution of 100 grams and three uh, number of flights is free, so you can see that it's hanging in three points. The IP rating is IP, IP 67, 67, sorry, no certification needed, and the communication protocol is for 20 milliamp. Lamas can offer a uh, free traction load cell model CTL 1000 kilograms with three uh, joints EM. One six dado. Then we can connect this free load cell through a standard junction box to our simple weight indicator model W100 A and A. It means W100 with analog output. You can see that is a simple front panel indicator in the picture and the, in the upper right of this slide. Another uh, common uh, Application is the big bag loader. <clears throat> Here we have the industrial sector of wood or pellets, maybe because of filling this big bag with pellets. The reason of the way is a 1000 kilogram big bag filling and is not legal for trade. The system capacity is 1500 kilograms and with a tear of 500 kilograms. With this data, we can get a 200 grams resolution <clears throat> and the number of flex is four. You see in the picture, the IP rating is IP67, uh, no certification, specific certification. And the communication protocol is the Ethernet IP. We, in this case, we can offer uh, four uh, Benning load cell model FTK 1000 kilograms that are similar to the FTP, but if the FTP are stainless steel, these are under, uh, is not stainless steel. With four uh, mounting accessory model PVZ that are these uh, joint foot with the, that help you to <clears throat> solve a problem of not planarity. Then we have also here two electronic possibilities. If we use a standard junction box, we connect the full load cell junction box and then we go to the our uh, front panel indicator model WDOS C, it means load again because we are filling the empty big bag with <coughs> Ethernet IP uh, communication protocol. The other possibility is to connect the four FTK load cell directly to our uh, multi channel transmitter model TLB4 Ethernet IP that can be mount, uh, installed in a Omega DIN rail or in a uh, for front panel. As said before, with the multi-channel transmitter, you will have advantages of uh, load cell diagnostic, you will have the repartition of the weight in percentage, and the automatic equalization <clears throat> during the first calibration. The another solution is a roller conveyor, but in this case it's bigger, so we cannot use just one of center load cell, but we are uh, we have to use four bending beam load cells. The industrial sector is the logistic. The reason of the weight is uh, pallet weighing. It's not legal for trade because it's just a check of the weight of the pallet. The system capacity is 3,000 kilograms. The tear is 900 kilograms, and we can get a resolution of 200 grams. Number of legs, as you can see, is four. The IP rating is IP67. We don't have any certification. And the communication protocol is the Profinet IO. 
in this system, in this application, Laomas can offer four FTP, F, bending beam load cell model FTP 1000 kilograms with four mounting accessory model PV that are completely in stainless steel. Then we have two electronic possibilities again. We can use a standard junction box and connect our field indicator model W200 box BP. In this case, it's W200 box B because basic software and B for cable blanks with Profinet IO uh, communication protocol. Why? If we don't need to see the weight in the place, we can use our multi-channel transmitter model TLB4 Profinet IO installed in a, inside a panel, so a Omega uh, the rail or front or front panel. Sometimes uh, we suggest also, as you can see in the picture, we'll, you will see some threaded bars during uh, along the, the roller conveyor. These threaded bars are uh, to prevent uh, lateral movement or lateral uh, bumping of the pallets. So that can damage the load cell. In this case, with this uh, treated bar, you can avoid that and protect your load cells. Another, another uh, application in the logistic uh, sector is the automatic warehouse. Uh, the reason of the weighing is the pallet weighing. So to check the weight of the pallet before going inside the automatic warehouse, because if it is too heavy, it will make some damages. It doesn't need to be legal for trade. The system capacity is 3,000 kilograms with a turn of 900 gram, kilograms and the resolution of 200 grams. The number of legs is again four. Uh, the IP rating is IP667. And we have a particular certification here that is the SIL. It's a certification about safety. So um the, the, the safety of this uh, automatic warehouse the communication protocol is the ethernet tcp ip we are about the certification this sil certification we are almost going to get got it because it's not so easy and uh, to get in order to get them our solution is to use four bending beam loads uh, model ftp dop 1000 kilograms DOP, it means double, um, double bridge. As you can see, there are two cables going out from the load cell. This is for the safety, because if you have a problem with one bridge, the other one is still working. And the mounting accessory is uh, uh, called Snodo GE20AX. Uh, that are those two uh, black parts that help you to avoid planarity problems. Then we can connect this four load cell to our multi-channel transmitter model TLMA Ethernet TCP IP. It can reach up to eight load cell. But even if in this case we have four load cell, we have two bridges, so we will use the all the eight uh, uh, connection. And then we will transmit the data of the weighing to a central PLC that will manage everything. Now we move with bigger application. Here we have a silos. Uh, the industrial sector is the food sector, and the reason of the weighing is the stock uh, weighing. It's not be it must, it must be to be legal for trade. The system capacity is uh, thirty thousand kilograms. The tail is five hundred kilograms, so the weight of the silo, the empty silo, is five hundred five thousand kilograms, and we can get a resolution of five kilograms. The number of legs are four, as you can see in the picture. The IP rating is IP68. No uh, specific certification needed. And the communication protocol is Modbus TCP IP. In this case, we can offer four compression load cell models, CBL 12,500 12, kilograms, with four mounting accessory D10,000. That you can see it in the picture. Then we have again two possibilities with our electronics. We can uh, uh, connect uh, the four loads uh, via a jun standard junction box to our W inox RBP indicator. That is a stainless steel indicator, and we have R because of the red LED and B because of the basic uh, software and P for the cable blends with Modbus TCP/IP communication. 
or again we can connect the four loads set directly to our multi-channel transmitter model TLMA Modbus PCP installed inside an IBS box called CASTLGA PG9. And again, with a multi-channel transmitter, we have many advantages as told before. Uh, Those diagnostic, repartition of the weight, and automatic equalization. For even bigger silos, for example, in the, in the agricultural sector, for the, the weighing of the uh, stock that you, of the, or maybe of grain or other product product, we have another solution. The system capacity in this case is uh, 150,000 150, kilograms. The third is, uh, is uh, 15,000 kilograms, and the resolution that we can get is 10 kilograms. The number of legs are six, the IP rating, IP68, again, no need of specific certification, and uh, the communication protocol is Ethernet TCP IP. In this case, Laumas can offer six compression load cell models, CBL 50,000 kilograms. And then we can see in the picture that we can offer the upper base called base base sup, B A S E S U P, and the lower base you can see in the two light blue part with 12 tenditore that, is, that are the powerful part uh, in hor horizontal part that are the to prevent horizontal uh, forces then all the other plates are made by the customer because you know with this kind of big silo uh, any foot is different and dimension is different then we can I have also here two electronic possibilities. We can connect through a standard junction box to our uh, ABS indicator model W-LBB, so L because of LCD, B because of basic software, and P for cable glance back, with Ethernet, IP, Ethernet TCP IP communication. The other solution could be the multi-channel transmitter model TLMA Ethernet TCP IP, again installed in an IBS box called CASTLGA PG9. Another common uh, application, way application, is the way bridge. Uh, here, for example, the industrial sector are queries, uh, and the reason of the waiting is the track waiting. The system capacity is 60,000 kilograms, the third 9,000 kilograms, and the resolution will be 20 kilograms because it must be legal for trade. The number of legs are eight, the IP rating is IP68. So the certification, of course, it's OEML because of the legal for trade, and we don't have any kind of communication protocol uh, needed of communication protocol. Lamos can offer eight column load cell model COK25000 with uh, the eight uh, mounting accessory called uh, AITCOK. And then we have two possible electronic solutions also here. We can connect the eight load cell with our intelligent junction box called CLM8 that gives you all the advantages of the digital load cells. So it's a multi-channel transmitter also this one. So you have the load cell diagnostic, repartition of the weight, uh, automatic equalization, and then connect the CLMA through a serial communication to our uh, weight bridge indicator model WTAB-BL. So you have also another advantage that you have a safe uh, communication protocol between the load cell to the indicator. Instead of having millivolt volts, you have a serial communication between the CLM8 and the uh, WTAB. Then we can have also a WayBridge software called the PROG WayBridge, WBridge, for managing the database of the track, customer products, and etc. Also, or we have another solution. We can connect always the eight loads to our intelligent junction box CLM8, and then connect our CLM8 via RS232, so serial communication, to our um, upgraded uh, wave bridge indicator called WTAP BGE. So you can see that it has a, a, gra a graphic display and it can manage itself a database of tracks 
plates, a product, customer, and etc. Uh, here we have another uh, not so common uh, application that is a homeboard waving. Uh, it can be found in any many sector. In this case, it's garbage, but maybe it can be also for pellet or milk. The use of the wagging is the garbage wagging, of course. It has to be legal for trade <clears throat> because maybe they will pay the garbage that they will, they will collect. The system capacity is 30,000 kilograms. The tear is 9,000 kilograms, and we can get a resolution of 10 kilograms because of the homo uh, legal for trade approval. The number of flags are eight. The IP rating is IP68, and we don't have needed uh, certification or communication protocol. What LAMAS can offer is <clears throat> our eight uh, double sharding loads uh, model DTX40 KLV of uh, 20, 23 kilograms each, 23,000 kilograms each, sorry. With the mounting accessory VDTX that, is, that you can see here in the picture. So between the chassis of the truck and the, uh, the garbage collector, you will put these eight loads then connected to our intelligent junction box model CLMA and uh, connected via serial also to this CLMA, there will be an inclinometer. So you will have always the weight, the correct weight, <clears throat> even in plus or minus 10 degrees in each uh, movement of the tracks. And this system, it is legal for trade. We got the, the, the approval for the legal for trade application. Then uh, we have sometimes the communication between the CLMA to a uh, cabin indicator in, inside the cabin or an, an indicator outside of the truck to, for the customer. But the system, the, 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 the approved system, the legal for trade system is load cell, CLMA plus inclinometer. So you will have always the correct weight up to 10 or minus degrees. Okay. 10 or minus 10 degrees. Here uh, we have another system application that is the testing machine. Mm, here it's an industrial test cycle, it's the automotive. The reason of the way is to test the consumption of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of, the of the wheel. The system capacity is 30,000 kilograms, the tear is 100 kilograms, and we have a resolution of two kilograms. The number of, we call it slacks, but we have two loads uh, in this picture. And the communication protocol is EtherCAT. <clears throat> Lama solution could be uh, two compression loads and models CL 20,000 kilograms each with two electronic possibilities. We can connect the two loads to two TLB EtherCAT. So one load for each TLB and we got two weight. Or we can connect the two CL direct to our multi-channel transmitter model TLB4 EtherCAT, but then <clears throat> is to, in order to have the two weights, uh, you will have to uh, work a little bit more in the PLC programming because you will have to read each channel individually. You will get row points that you will have to filter and to uh, convert them in weight. Another testing machine uh, could be um, <clears throat> A, a, a broke a break test machine. So in the industrial sector, for example, in the tissue sector, uh, to check at which uh, force the, the, the tissue will break. The system capacity is 2,000 kilograms. <clears throat> the tear is 30 kilograms. The resolution is 100 grams. And we have, of course, we have just one hanging point. And we don't have any other specific needs. Lama solution is to use one traction load cell model SL 2,500 kilograms connected to our front panel indicator model W200 with a, the option called OP, OPZWUSB. It means that we you can have the, the storage of the, 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 breaking, the breaking weight in a USB key. So we will have uh, weight date and hour for each uh, weight that you will store. And then you can uh, 
uh, download this uh, data on your PC, on your laptop, and use it, uh, use them as you wish. Then here we have the last uh, free example, uh, how to weight a crane. So there are, we can have three possibilities. The first one here we have a system capacity of 20,000 kilograms with a tear of 500 kilograms and a resolution of 10 grams, 10 kilograms, sorry. <coughs> sorry. Number of legs one, because you can see in the picture, the red part. The communication protocol is the Wi-Fi. Lama solution is to use a load pin model uh, called LIU 10,000 kilograms red part in the picture, uh, why 10,000 kilograms uh, if the system capacity 20,000 kilograms? Because as you can see in this explanation, there are, um, there is just one, uh, um, I would say, in the pool lane, you have just one return of the rope. So the, uh, the weight on the load pin is half. So it's enough to have 10,000 kilograms. Then we have two possibilities as electronics. We can connect the load pin to our mm, Wi-Fi transmitter model TLK WFIB67 that will transmit via Wi-Fi to an indicator on the ground uh, model WDESC-LBP with Wi-Fi options. Or the other uh, possibility is to use <clears throat> our uh, limiting device model TLU the crane connected via serial to our uh, big remote display model RIP 6100. Another uh, possible solution to weight a crane is to use a traction load cell at the end of the rope. So for this solution, we, Laumas can offer a traction load cell model CTL 12,500 kilograms uh, with two joints EM, EM35 DADO. Uh, as you can see in the picture, the red part is a traction load, so we always uh, suggest to use also two safety plates uh, beside the load cell in, for avoiding if there is something goes wrong and the load cell will break, the, the two plates will uh, keep hanging the, 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 the crane, the weight. Again, the two possible electronic solutions are the same. So uh, Wi-Fi transmitter on the crane that will transmit the data via Wi-Fi to an indicator on the ground, model WDESC, or a limiting device model TLU connected with a big remote display model RIP6100. The third and the last one, and the last uh, possible solution is to use um, a rope load cell. Uh, so, this model of load cell, uh, it is connected to, uh, to the rope, so it's a wire rope load cells. It's not uh, directly connected to the weight, so the precision is a little bit lower. So for this case, we have a resolution of 20 kilograms instead of 10 kilograms. And it will be applied on the rope. Our phone, model phone 1626-5T2T of 10 ton capacity. And again, we have two electronic solutions, Wi-Fi, the transmitter to a ground indicator or limiting device model TLU connected to a big remote display model RIP6100. This was the last uh, example. <clears throat> I hope to have been clear and I hope that this presentation will uh, help you to select the correct uh, Laumas products uh, in the future. And uh, uh, again, thank you for your attention. And uh, now we can have our um, question time. If any one of you have some, any kind of question, we, I'm here to answer you. <coughs> now we got the first questions. So uh, the first question is, According to application, can we replace any brand made load cell into Laumas load cells? Um, yes, of course. If you get any system, if you, if you see a system with a specific load cell installed, you can just send us the model of that load cell and we will uh, 
uh, offer you a similar load cell or a replaceable load cells. Uh, another question is, uh, have a good impression of the possibilities of your products. Is it possible to get this presentation in email? Uh, yes, yes, of course, you, you will, as I said before, this presentation will be available on our website, so you, you will be able to download it on your own in a few weeks. Uh, the FUN clamp on load cell, so the wire rope load cell that we talked about before. Uh, what is the approximate system accuracy that is, that is possible? Uh, as I said before, the, the wire rope, um, the wire rope uh, load cell is not working directly on the weight, so the precision is um, it's about 20%. Uh, so <clears throat> this is maybe it's better to use it like uh, lo uh, limit uh, a load a load limit, not a real weighing. Another question for the crane application: What is the operating temperature of the load cells? Um, our standard load cell can uh, work up to 60 70, 60, 70 degrees. But as I said before, we are able to make customized load cells, so we can make also load cells for lower temperature or higher temperature, maybe 150 degrees, or we don't have problems for uh, temperature. Uh, another question. How you are selecting the load cell capacity based on system and tear weight? Um, to select the, 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 the correct load cell capacity, I uh, would like to show you again, uh, the, for example, in this, let me see, uh, for this system, here we said we have uh, 3,000 kilograms uh, system capacity. We know that uh, um, the, in, a, in, a, in a system that we have four load cells, we will have three load cells that we uh, bring that will support more weight than the fourth one. So to select the correct capac load cell capacity, it's better to uh, think that the old weight will be uh, keep by just three load cells. So in this case, we, as you see, we use four load cells of 5,000 kilograms because with three load cells, we can keep 3,000 kilograms. Of course, said this, we have to also know which is the product that is going to the system because if it is a, a little product, but heavy, that maybe can stay all the weight up uh, to just one load cell or two load cells, it's better to keep the uh, load cell capacity higher. Compatibility with other manufacturers' cells. Yes, of course. Uh, as I said before, it's just enough that you send uh, the data sheet or the model of the loads that you are using and we can offer you uh, the compatibility because as you can see, the, 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 the majority of the loads that are almost all with the same dimension and shape. Uh, another question. Basically, all the products indicator load cell are all for static weighing only. Let's say yes. Laumas is um, uh, our core business is the static weighing, but we have a sister company that is uh, specialized in dynamic weighing. So, if you have any need of dynamic weighing, you can write us an email, and we will give you the contact of our sister company that is uh, specialized on uh, dynamic weighing. Another question, uh, in crane weighing system, how you select the capacity of the load cell? Uh, no rope is also important, why selection of the load cell? Number of ropes, yes, of course, <coughs> as I said before, uh, as you can see in this example, the number of ropes are important to select the capacity of the load cell. In this example, you have one return, so you have one rope that is, make, is making one return, so you, the uh, capacity of the load that you will need is half of the capacity of the crane. More turning you have, lower is the capacity of the load that you need.
we have a lot of for dynamic weighing like online check weighing application. Of course, all, all our lots uh, can be used in dynamic weighing because uh, they can be used in dynamic weighing depending also on the velocity of this dynamic weighing. So if you have any specific need, just send us an email and we will let you know, okay, we can do with this load cell or you we have to contact our sister company for dynamic way. Okay, some load cell showing the certificate known. Is that mean that no need certificate or LAMAs don't have? No, it means these are example. So it, we, we have uh, many different IP certification. We have, as you see in the beginning of the presentation, we have a lot of approvals for uh, metrological approvals, explosion area approvals. Uh, so LAMAS has a lot of approvals. These are just example to simplify and, and not have always the uh, certifications needed. On the LAMAS indicator, I can connect a printer on which to print a customer indicator. Yes, we, all our indicator can be connected to printers. We have uh, some printer also. And but uh, no, you cannot make a customized ticket. Uh, you will be able to do it on the Waybridge with the Waybridge software, but not in the standard indicator. We have a basic uh, ticket. Are Laumas Waybridge loads the weight indicator junction box after certified? E so we have the load cell that can be ATIC certified. We have the junction box that can be ATIC certified, uh, but uh, not the indicator. Uh, please, prof. Maximum communication distance between the weight indicator and the PLC in packing machine application. So the, the, the maximum uh, weighing, <clears throat> the maximum communication distance between the weighing indicator and the PLC in packing machine application. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you use a, an LCB, for example, um, you won't have any problem because you have the transmitter connected directly to the load cell and then you have a safe uh, communication protocol, a safe communication data uh, to, the, to the PLC. So you won't have any, any problem of distances in the, you, you will have Cause the problem of the communicate of the of the protocol. Each protocol has its uh, uh, distance, maximum distances. When several load cells are used on the feet of the devices, how is the total load cell calculated? Is it only an average between the signals? Uh, yes, it's a parallel. So when you have more than uh, when you have four load cells, you have a it's a parallel of the load cell. It's an average of the signal that is going to the indicator. Uh, Uh, let's see if we have other uh, question. Ah, um, regarding the ATEX approval for the Waybridge, um, we have also the indicator that is ATEX approved uh, if needed. Then we'll see if we have other questions. Okay, it seems that all the questions are have been answered. Anyway, if we have, if you have other questions, don't have any problem to send us emails, and we will answer you without any problem. Thank you again for being here and following our webinar. Uh, this will be available, as said before, within within a few weeks. And uh, good evening to everybody. Thank you very much. Bye.